All right, hey everyone, welcome to Friday, May 15th. These are gonna be your ELA expectations. Make sure that you remember I am available on Mondays and Wednesdays, or all you have to do is message me to let me know that you need me. We can create a Zoom link, I can call you, we can figure it out through Messenger. You just have to tell me that you need some help, all right? So keep keeping this in mind. Remember, why do you get on Zoom? To ask for help. Guys, don't always assume that you can do it. If you're stuck, own up to that and get some help, all right? So remember, if you ever do get stuck, message me. Please don't complete an assignment if you are confused. Ask for help. I will gladly get on Zoom, all right? So same thing. Remember, we're working on Florida. It's under your Week 7 e-learning project. You can either click on the Week 7 e-learning project. You can click on Florida. You also can download the PDF, but remember there is no audio to it. So today we're working on pages 25 to 30 only, but the way that you're going to see it on my own, it's not going to be labeled as 25 to 30. It's going to be on the right hand side under other pages. So we're still working on important information that helps us understand Florida. So I'm going to show you. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to need to click on the other pages and then you're going to see three timelines. You're going to need all three of those timelines plus the glossary. So I took a picture about what one of the, f the timelines will look like. All right. So when we're working on being able to figure out what is important, you need to look for those details that help you. So what I already noticed is that these three timelines are actually in order of the history of Florida. Then we have a glossary. Remember, glossaries help us give definitions for words that we may not know. So take a look at these. You have ancestor, clash, council, culture, executive, folklore, industry, legislative, peninsula, permanent, unique. These are going to be words that you might need to know. They're a great way to learn and improve your vocabulary. So question one, how does the timeline on pages 25 to 29, which is that other pages tab, help us understand the text a little bit better? So make sure that you're looking at all three of those timelines. Question two, based on the information in the timelines, you need to pick three, three statements that are true. If it was me, I'd be going back to all three of those timelines, checking my answers, and which three answers are true that I can use. Then question three, how does the glossary on page 30, or go to the other pages tab, click on glossary, um, what did you learn from these pages? All right, so if it was me, what's that glossary's purpose? And then last but not least, your challenge word is tree. Have a great weekend, guys.